Hey guys, Sconson here with Vaporizer Review, looking at another pen vaporizer. Um, what sets the Dr. Dabber aura apart, apparently, is... Yeah, bitch! Magnets! Oh! Yeah, so we got magnets here. That's what separates it. We'll see what they're all about. Let's open it up. It's got a nice little slide-off technology here. It's the aura. Wonderful. Okay. So inside the box of the Aura, we have the instruction manual first. It's small, looks pretty straightforward though. Not too much, uh, uh, you know, a little breakdown of everything. Talks about the five-click safety feature that a lot of them have. And uh, another point uh, about the different atomizers that come with it. It has varying levels of temperature. So. Uh, Here's the unit itself, so you can see how it comes packaged in there. It comes with three separate atomizers. We have the crystal quartz atomizer. We have the, over here, the donut ceramic style atomizer. And then what came attached to my Aura is the dual ceramic rod chamber, all connected by magnets. For a pen vaporizer that's designed for wax, no one's really reinventing the wheel at this point. Yeah, they're all kind of the same in this frame. You know, like the idea being that it has uh, dual coils, kind of the standard these days, or the ceramic style um, donuts, as the candy pens calls it, which is we've seen before for a lot of these atomizers. So that's not really the unique part. What's changed is the fact that with this vaporizer, you don't have to deal with threading. There's the battery, here's the cartridge, right on there. Here's where you're going to place your wax. It's really easy for someone to just simply put them right back on. No, no more twisting nonsense. It just connects very securely, as far as I know. And uh, to load it up, just pop it off right there. Since we already know how most of these pen vapes work, just put some wax in there and see how it hits. So for this one, I'm going to actually use the crystal quartz attachment. I'm a big fan of what you get out of the crystal quartz. It's a dual one. That was a donuts one right there. It's a dual style one, so you get larger clouds that way. I'm so used to threading it on. Don't have to. It just connects like that. And inside the box here, you actually get some some accessories and one eye keychain, the loading tool that I'll use here, and it actually comes with a wax container right inside the box. Which is nice because you can store your concentrates. And for your viewing pleasure, I actually loaded the wax right in here. So I'm going to take a little bit, put it into the crystal, uh, dual crystal quartz chamber, and see what sort of uh, performance we got out of this. Now, when it comes to loading your wax onto the coil, you don't want to mess around with getting caught on the wire or anything like that. So you're going to want to try and scrape it off up near the top or load it in a manner that doesn't get you down on that coil. You damage that thing, it just, just ain't gonna work right. You're gonna just go ahead, close up the container. I'm gonna put it right back in the box for now because I like to put things in the box. And then you can put everything away. And go ahead and take the uh, top connector. And by magnets, Mr. White, they're gonna connect. Gonna hold down the button. I've already uh, unlocked it, so it's going to hold down. I went with the hottest temperature. There are three temperatures that you can vary through by clicking the button three times. By doing that, you can switch through. Temperatures are inside the manual. Look it up, you'll find them there. Alright, I'm gonna hold down and see what kind of hits it get. With a pen that uses wax, or any vaporizer that uses concentrates instead of herb, you're probably going to get a solid hit pretty much every time. Yeah, without a doubt, no question. So, it hits really well, which is something I already expected. I have a Candy Pens Galaxy at home, I'm sure we all do at this point. And I know that it works really well because they have the exact same sort of atomizers. So I'm confident in the performance you're going to get from it. If we're going to talk about the cons, what I don't like about it, one of the things that is a do and a don't is the magnets. That's awesome. But I don't know. How solid are they going to be over time? Put it in your pocket, pop apart, wax everywhere. That's not fun to clean. If you're doing laundry with wax in your pocket, it's not fun. 
So that's something I'm on the fence about. We'll see over time if it works well. I like the fact that you get multiple atomizers. It's really nice. Seen them all before thus far, but it's cool to have a lot. The uh, source orb gets you like six atomizers in one set, so if you really want a variety, you can find them there too. Uh, I like that it's kind of ahead of the game. Thus far, no other wax pen has used magnets. It's all the threading, so that's cool. It's unique. And uh, I like that it's a Dr. Dabber product. I've found that thus far, everything I've used from them has been really solid. The, the Ghost works well. The light, this. Haven't had my hands on a boost yet, but I don't know we're going to probably do a video real soon. So, as always, Wisconsin Vaporizer Review. Got any questions for me? Leave them down in the comments. And cheers, guys.